Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another episode by the Pokemonster. So today we're gonna check out a collection miner that I have laying around for a year, a year or two or three or so. Might be from the start when I got back into Pokemon cards collecting. And as you can see, yes indeed, they are Evolutions cards from 2016, the XY era. Now, I'm excited to dive straight into this. Let me get a fresh cup of coffee and uh, tell you a bit about how I achieve, how I got these cards and why I want to get rid of them and check them out. So first of all, guys, if you like Pokemon card collecting just like me, a good tip, don't use these kind of binders. They have circular rings in the ring binder and uh, they can damage your cards. More on that in another video, but I just wanted to put that out there. I don't know why I used this binder myself. Probably I had it still laying around and I didn't have any other options. I never looked into this binder after collecting these cards for a really long time, a year or two. The pages are a bit dirty as well. Those might be pages that I actually have from 1999. Don't quote me on that, but I think they might be really old. Might also be purchased three years ago, don't know how they got so dirty. But yeah, we have some really nice evolution cards here. Another reason was that friends of me also started uh, collecting Pokemon cards again. First time in 2021, a friend of me purchased an ETB of Shining Fates and we opened it. And that is how, how I got back hooked into the hobby. Now, at first I really didn't have a clue what I was doing in 2021 and when I was a kid neither back in the day. But I was trying to source cards that were in really nice condition. I checked out everything. I went back basically from all the years that I was not in the hobby and checked out all the cards. And that was how I st stumbled upon evolution cards. Back in the hype time in 2021, it was really tough to get a nice condition base set cards. They were or really expensive or hard to achieve to uh, obtain at all. So what was uh, the next best possibility? I found Evolutions. Now back then I think Evolution booster boxes were already pretty expensive. The Charizard from Evolutions was about 100 bucks. It now might have gone back to 70 and sometimes you can even find it for less. That is what happened to Evolution in the last three years. The booster boxes might have still risen in price. I think at one point they were a thousand bucks. They might have come down to 800 now as well. Don't quote me on the exact prices. I might or might not put them up in the screen right here. The current prices, but it doesn't matter that much either. Um, yeah, it's really nice. So yeah, in other episodes you might have seen me start pulling cards from certain binders and list the cards up for sale. I do this because I think I am now ready to uh, upskill my collection. I want to get rid of the most cheap cards. I'm not going to collect them anymore in the future. To, to basically buy more expensive cards I need to sell a bit of the cheaper ones. It is with pain in the heart sometimes. I really liked collecting this. I was pretty far as well. Yeah, this is I, I think a nice moment to show some other cards because I'm not completely done with evolutions. In another binder we also have this those pages. Here we have some of the break cards. I don't really like them, but they are part of uh, evolution, so I had to collect them. Here we have the regular hollows. I purchased and sold a couple in the last three years, and they are basically, in my opinion, pretty cheap. You can get near mint copies for about three, four, five bucks. And it's really nice that they also have a reversed hollow variant. I got a couple of the Septos. Here I have a couple of Septos. Evolutions, Hollow and Reverse Hollow. Might take a look at this uh, in another time. So let's move back to the Evolutions. So I do like these cards. I'm not gonna sell those. I'm not gonna purchase any more Breakpoint cards, but maybe I'm gonna purchase some more Brock and Misties. I might also go and purchase some more of the regular Hollows if I can't find them for the nice price. But in order to do so, I need to have money. And the way I want to get that money is by selling uh, the, the more cheaper cards. So I purchased these cards for about 
3 to 10 cents a piece. Reversed hollows 20 cents, 30 cents a piece. And that's about it. Um, yeah, let me start pulling the cards from the binder. I don't want to make this episode too long. I'm gonna sleeve all the reversed hollows. I see the reversed hollows are already a uh, perfect fit sleeve. So a really nice caterpie over here. But sometimes it's also good to let go of some stuff and uh, yeah, refre be refreshing with some new stuff. Cards are in re really good condition. I really did my best to source them from uh, the right seller. Really a lot of uh, nostalgia. I still have my base set. I can't stretch that enough as well. Those evolution cards are in way better condition. My base set might be played, light played, excellent as we call it in uh, Europe. Excellent means like a seven, a six, seven quality. These cards are all nine, potential 10, maybe eight. If the reverse hollows have a scratch, it might get a seven. These are way better quality and they are really nice cards. So what was my plan initially? I wanted to have this set complete at least once. I was furthermore going to buy a large amount of Charmanders, Charmeleons, Pikachus, Arcanines as well. In this set it is a rare and in the base set Arcanine is an uncommon. And I like for example Haunters a lot too. Hunter, one of my favorite Pokemon, that and basically in my childhood, one of the most important cards for me. The CGI of that moment, the tr being 3D, it was really cool. But we get there in a sec. Bonita. So yeah, I, I really like these cards, guys. I might not even sell them all. I might make a small selection to keep. Maybe even buy some more reverse hollows of some of them. But in general, yeah, I'm finished collecting sets. I'm not going to do it anymore. I just want to buy the cards that I like the best. And then maybe a couple of copies of each. This one is not sleeved, but... Generally really nice condition, so a bit bad of me that I haven't sleeved it. Let's put it aside. And I think for me, it's more satisfying to have hundreds of copies of one single card or dozens of copies at least, instead of a whole collection and a complete set of which I don't like half of the cards. Now that doesn't count for this evolution set. I really like all the cards of this evolution really set. I specifically like the artworks. Uh, I, I do, for example, per I have purchased some Groudons from Paradox Rift or yeah, Paradox Rift. I like the Ghastly from Temporal Forces as well. I really like those artworks, but uh, any more than nostalgia, if those were now, if these cards were now released and never have been released in the past, I don't know if I had the same uh, feeling towards these cards. I might have chosen my, to spend my money differently. There are way more nicer cards. So the Electabuzz, they, those are really really nostalgic cards there are some empty spots in the binder and now of course there are even more uh, empty spots but uh, the spaces are filled with the cards in the other binder over there we have the Mewtwo I was pretty surprised the Mewtwo was not holographic in this set I would have liked it being holographic definitely a ghastly as well just like the Haunter Really cool to see, really cool artworks, great condition these cards, I have a couple of hunters, one was unfortunately not near mint, this one is not sleeved either, and well I don't see any scratches luckily, nice card, put it aside here, then we have the coughing here, nice card, some cards are from the first generation, some cards from the first generation are not in the base set, very funny. Just saw recently someone um, offering on Facebook a Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos from Fossil PSA 9, 300 bucks for the for the trip for the triplets, right? For the trio. I was hesitating for a moment to do an offer of 280, 
but I purchased the Japanese Mystery of the Fossil Articuno. I probably think that episode will be uploaded when I received it after this one. I have not received it currently, but I'm trying to uh, create the videos in advance so that I have a bit of uh, extra videos laying around for times that I'm not able to record. If you like these kind of rambles as well, guys, uh, be sure to like the video. It helps out a lot and it's free. And maybe uh, yeah, subscribe for more content. Ratata Mitsuhiro Arita, very nostalgic, iconic rather. Raticate from Ken Sugimori. Farfetched here. Never liked the Pokemon that much. Far I started to appreciate it. Feels weird, but it is the sleeve. It is a different kind of sleeve. This card is in a matte, not that transparent sleeve, you see? It's a nice card. The sleeve is nice for protection though. Some cool trainer cards. I think the Spirit Link is uh, kind of expensive currently. Spir Spirit Link cards, especially in reverse holographic. And I'm just going to put them up for sale. I said in other videos as well, I just want a, a fair buck for my cards. I'm trying to make a profit, but I'm not value selling stuff either. I don't mind having this in the collection a bit longer. Still hesitating whether I want to start a store or not. I'm writing down some stuff that might be interesting. And in the meantime, I'm still collecting cards like a madman. There is so many new cards again coming in now. The flow of incoming envelopes dried up a little, but uh, I am back on track. It might be already May or maybe June when these episodes get uploaded. So we're heading towards summer. I have so many episodes still to upload at this point in time while recording. Really nice cards, folks. Yeah. So most important lesson for myself. I learned a lot from collecting these cards. Really nice journey. Uh, I lost a bit of money on them too. You mean, I mean, if you buy four cards or 17 cards, you have to pay, pay one to two bucks shipping every time. I'm not sure if I'm able to retrieve those shipping costs in any way. I mean, I might make five cents on the cards, but if I paid two bucks shipping per 17, you can calculate that. I'm not even able to break even. So for me, those cheaper cards, unless you have a specific purpose and a buyer's market for them for a bit higher price, I wouldn't start with it. I'm not a set collector anymore. Yeah, I wanted to collect every set, every Pokemon card that was ever created, but you start to realize that that is just not possible. It might, might take you some time. You don't have to take my word for it. I am a fan of experiencing everything myself. People said it to me as well. I shouldn't try to collect everything. And I wouldn't listen until I experienced it now for myself. And I'm glad that I can uh, also bring this information back to my viewers again. And that's it. I'm going to take out the pages. I might make one large binder uh, with uh, better rings, definitely. So I'm going to take out all these pages. I'm going to do it right now. And I'm gonna use the binder for some paper administration. And the pages I'm gonna use for some other stuff. I don't know, maybe give it away to starting collectors. I don't need them anymore. And I think that's it for today's episode. We can do this instead of the regular pictures that I try to do every episode. Let's take a look here at the cards. Some energies. I got a couple of base set energies too. The trainers, basically this is the whole set in reverse order. At least of what I collected so far, Charizard and Blastoise Spirit Link. Yeah, the the non-holo Hitmonchan, very funny. I got the holo as well and I maybe need the reverse holo. Reversed Hunter, one of my favorites. Mewtwo non-holo. Nidoking is in the other binder. Electabuzz is nice. Non hollow magneton. I also have the reverse one, bit scratched up, trying to sell it off as moderately light plate. 
excellent condition as well. Nice Pikachu here. I got a stack of those. I think this is one of those cards that I would like to have multiples of. Just and then not all these other cards. Team Rocket is nice. I, I am a fan of this one. I also had it in holographic from the real rocket set. Yeah, good memories. Arcanine Rare, Philpix. I have the Nine Tails too. Charmander. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you like this kind of content, leave a like and uh, maybe subscribe for more. See you all on the next one.